everyone, Chris Killinger here and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're covering the Campsite Toolkit. Campsite Toolkit kit contains one hunter's axe, one and three quarter pound head, 18 inch hickory handle, one folding guide saw, and one 26 and a half inch hash handle shovel with solid steel blade. I've only ever seen two of these kits and I own both of them. Now one one of them was just the box and the other one was a complete kit as you see it here but the kit did have our guide saw it had a shovel which was not marked norlin it's just marked usa so that makes it difficult to identify without the kit and then it did come with the hunter's axe fun fact about the hunter's axe which we see these uh hunter axes come up on ebay quite often but they were only offered with the campsite toolkit so you had to buy the kit to get this hunter's axe which is which means there's a lot of those kits where the boxes were thrown away which is a shame so it says on the box and these boxes are not in the greatest condition but we say it says here axe hunter axe with hand ground heat treated one and three one and a quarter pound forged tool steel head 14 inch curved solid hickory handle head guaranteed for life the best all-around choice for general camp use Saw, rugged, lightweight camping saw, compact, trimly in seconds, nickel plated steel frame, safety stores, the changeable 21 inch blade for easy carrying, practical and efficient for trail on camp. Shovel, convenient portable spade, 26 and a half inch overall length, solid steel blade, strong ash handle, fit and securely held in neck by steel pen, specially made for campsite use. So this is a pretty neat little kit. There's a couple other companies that offered similar kits at the time. It's no surprise that Norland would try to tap into that market as well, being that their whole market is revolved around hunters and campers and backpackers. The camper's kit was offered from 1973 to 1982. Be sure to tune in next time for our last episode where we cover the three undocumented Norland axes that I own. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Also, we'll see you in the next video.